Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on how to consign and tag your clothes for the TLS consignment sale. I'm going to show you how to navigate from the website through the process of printing your tags. As you can see, the TLS webpage is open. To begin, go to Families, Parents Association, and then Consignment. I would recommend that you read the consignment letter first. This is not the current one, it's about to be updated, but this letter gives you the information on the sale dates and when the drop-off times and locations are, what items are acceptable for sale and what aren't, what condition they have to be in, how they the items need to be placed on the hangers, etc. So please look that uh, through before you begin the process of filling in the database and tagging and so forth. So again, we go to Parents Association, Consignment. Next thing we do is go to Consignment Forms and Tags. Click on that. It will download. As you can see, I've done it a time or two practicing. Um, click on that and it'll open up in Excel. If you do not have a current copy of Excel or a somewhat current copy of Excel or if you have a Mac, you may need to enlist the help of a friend to go through this process. Um, fill in your information. And be sure to give us a email address, please. And a phone number. The next thing you do is go to the item entry page which you can click on either here or down here. That will take you to where you enter your items. Your consigner ID has been assigned from the information you entered on the previous page and all the item numbers are populated. The first thing we need you to do is let us know whether you would like to donate the item after the sale if it does not sell. If you would like the, do the item donated, just click yes and it will go to William Wells Brown or another charity if William Wells Brown does not need it. Um, next thing to do is tell us if it's a Parker item. If it is not, say no and we're going to pretend that this is a size 12. Uh, we are going to say this has not been altered. Parker will be blacked out because it's a non-Parker item. And then I am going to type a description of this piece so that when I print my tags, I know which tag this belongs to which piece. Next thing is picking a price. We can start at $3 and work our way on up by 50 cent increments. And I'm going to say I want $3 for this shirt. On the next piece, I'm going to say, uh, no, I don't want to donate if it doesn't sell because it's a Parker piece. And I have a friend who just happens to need a pair of size 12 uh, altered Parker pants if it doesn't sell. So now we have a blank here and we can pick from our drop down menu on what this item is. Be sure to look through the size categories and pick the one that uh, matches. If it's a regular, if it's slim, if it's a 4 to 20, uh, um, you know, XL, a 3 to 7, because the prices are all linked to each of these categories. So we're going to say that this is a pair of boys pleated twill pants. Obviously they're size 12, so we're going to put them in the 8 to 20 category. And it's going to automatically populate with the description and the price, which is 50% of what the original price was. Now we can continue on entering as many items as we want to here and you can enter them and then leave them and come back to them. You can save the document, come back to it and fill it in later um, or you can do it all at once. If you are going to save it and come back to it, go up here to your office button, click save as, click Excel workbook. And I always save my things in documents so that I know where to look for it. I'm going to change the name so that I know um, this is my consignment form. 
document or spreadsheet. And then I'm going to save it as that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to print the tags. So after I click on print tags, you will see all of your tags will come up and they will be uh, filled in with all the information that you provided. I said that this was Parker. I said that this was altered. It gives me the size, gives me the information as to whether it's to be donated or not after the sale. And there are six tags per page. You will have to print each page separately. That means is after you print this page, you'll go up here, you'll click print, select your printer, number of copies, etc. Um, the next, after this page prints, you'll have to go back to this. You will have to go to number seven. Since we had six on the first page, we're going to start with number seven. Print this page. If you have another page, you're going to start with number 13 and print that page and so on until you've printed all your pages. If you have cardstock to print on, that's great because it's a little sturdier and holds up better. If not, you need to use regular paper. That is fine, too. We ask that you fasten all of the items or the tags to the items, either with safety pins or if you can have a tagging gun or can get a hold of one, that's a, a great tool. With shirts, uh, sweaters, jumpers, sweatshirts, and so forth, please tag them under the left armpit. Um, pants in the belt loops and jackets, blazers, and so forth in the left, left sleeve. There's further instructions on the uh, sheet that I showed you um, at the beginning as far as where to place all of your tags. The last thing you'll need to do is go back to the document as you saved it. So, um, and email that to us at tlsconsignment at the lexingtonschool.org. Just go to your regular email program, attach that document to the email, and send it on to us so that we have the database uh, to work from at the sale. Thank you so much for participating in the sale, for consigning your items. Uh, please remember, if you wouldn't buy it, don't bring it. Thank you.